Hey there, everybody. It's been a while. This is Biggie Dude reviewing a, a show that looked really interesting, Revolution. Um, I really liked it so far, and uh, this is spoilers, theories, and a review, a quick one. Um, only an hour long one, and uh, I, I'm going to end up loving the show, and hopefully because it's on a 10 and not against, you know, Dancing With Your Mom or those other shows like this or The x Cracker. Um, maybe it'll actually gain an, a following and uh, it'll last around, last a, a while, okay? You know, J.J. Abrams is kind of cool, but, you know, whatever. All right, so basically, here's a nutshell. The lights went off 15 years ago, and they do a little bit of flashbacky stuff like Lost. Um, main character seems to be Charlie. All right, she is kind of like the Katniss Everdeen with a bow and arrow type of deal. Uh, her dad gets killed, and uh, his he knew how to turn the lights back on in a way or something. Um, his brother Miles uh, is a killing guy, and he's in Chicago, so he says, "Go to Chicago and go hang out, or right, you know, and find Danny." Danny is her brother, and he got taken by the militia of the General Monroe. And we're going to talk about him in a little bit. Um, some other characters. We got Maggie. She's uh, um, the guy that died's, you know, girlfriend now. Yep. Uh, we got uh, uh, Aaron, who is, uh, he's kind of like the nerdy scientist guy. We find out later that he worked at Google and was worth a crap ton of money. We got uh, Tom Neville. Who is the cool matrixy looking Giancarlo Esposito guy, uh, who is basically a lieutenant in the General Monroe's army, and we get uh, um, we get basically Nate. He we kind of find him along the way. Uh, he's we find out he's in the militia, and then he screws over Miles, Uncle Miles, and then basically uh, helps out Charlie at the end so but when uh, Danny escapes from his captors he meets Grace all right who is uh, who gives him some asthma stuff and uh, you know the they they the militia finds him at Grace's house and uh, they find tracks and stuff and all that good stuff um, but they don't find the something even better so basically the whole point of this is uh, General Monroe is actually was in the car with Miles when the blackout happened and Miles was on the phone with his brother uh, and he knows that there's a way to turn the lights back on or something or he thinks that he does because he said that they were going to go off and you know when they're walking home to base I'm sure they talked a little bit about it because they were buddies. Um, I'm sure they're not going to be really buddies now. I mean, this is 15 years later, and, uh, you know, the general is the guy in power. And uh, he knows, um, well, they know if, like, he gets power, he'll get tanks, planes, all sorts of weaponry. And uh, we'll just crush the, the rest of the country and take over, basically. You know, basically take over, which and he doesn't seem to be, like, a good guy. Basically. Um, here's... My thoughts. Uh, and at the end of the episode, we see, you know, Dr. Grace, or she seems, she looks like a doctor, even though she said she was an algebra teacher. Um, or, you know, computer geek. She uh, has one of the little thingies, right? That's kind of like the mythical object with the on symbol, the revolution on, get it? Get it? Um, she uh, fires up her little, you know, old school computer. And uh, it, she's talking to somebody, okay? Old school internet or, or somewhere. We don't know where this person is. Um, we don't know the range of this stuff. We don't know much about that. And we don't know anything about it. Here's what's going to happen in this show, all right? Uh, Danny, the whole captive of Danny stuff, that's going to be the first couple episodes. They're going to try to get Danny, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, Aaron, when or not Aaron, the... The lover boy, Nate. I like lover boy because they called him that. Uh, he's going to be conflicted and he's going to fall for Katniss. I mean, Charlie. Yeah, I did that on purpose, actually. And uh, they're going to start wanting to make out and good stuff like that. Um, then we're going to have a confrontation somewhere with uh, Miles as well as Monroe. Okay, Sebastian. 
And uh, somewhere in there, we're going to meet more people that have the power keys. All right, the power keys are important because they're kind of like uh, what powers the, the what they can power. Obviously, it doesn't seem to have large range, um, but it can power a light, an old computer, and uh, some sort of internet transmission thing. Whether it's a satellite feed, uh, we don't know how far they are. I'm betting that they are kind of far apart. Okay, because you got to think those that were in the know um, with the whole, you know, it's all going to crash and bam, boom, bang, and the power's never coming back on. Uh, they're going to know how, what caused it and they're going to know how to fix it. Okay, those are the big things, the big things in the show. Um, but I think it was caused on purpose because everybody is just so caught up in the whole electronic stuff. I think it was tried to be done out of a good thing and it just went awry or it was part military, but you know, why would General Monroe be General Monroe if uh, it was part military? It, well, you know, military stuff is pretty secretive, but it's it's got to be about, you know, something to do with, you know, the power, all right? And Eventually, they're all going to meet up with each other. I don't see any of these people dying. Uh, the one that seems to be the most expendable is the is Aaron, the nerd guy, or the, the girlfriend of the dead dad. Those two are expendable, in my opinion. Um, I think that we're going to see, uh, you know, Giancarlo. Well, it's so good to see him. Uh, Tom, uh, he's going to, you know, kind of, he might switch sides every now and then. Um, like kind of like you know to see what's going on um, but the next couple episodes is all going to be about I think it's going to be about finding Danny and uh, when they do find him and there'll be flashbacks because you got the, the awesome girl from Lost you know uh, Elizabeth Mitchell what a great actress uh, miss her a lot you know and um, it's going to be interesting there's going to be flashbacks flash forwards <laughs> Get what, see what I did there um, but hopefully this show lasts, and I think because of its time slot, uh, it will it will last at least a year. Um, hopefully at least two. I'd love it to see five, because eventually the thing that has to happen is a resolution, and the lights have to come back on. You know, kind of think of this as like a, a different type of Hunger Games, where it's all about survival and stuff, and family and love, and just the basics. Um... It'll be interesting to see. What are your opinions? What are your thoughts? That's what I love to do with these reviews. And this, I've gone on enough. So tell me what you thought about the first episode. Uh, do it in a comment, video response. And uh, we'll see you back. It's good to be back. All right, peace out. Bye.